This video contains mature and or graphic content. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Dr. Kevin Sabet is the president of Smart Approaches to Marijuana, and he's joining us via Skype. Obviously, Dr. Sabet, I assume you've been listening to our conversation. We feel like the criminalization of marijuana has gone too far. What are, what are your thoughts? Well, I feel like the criminalization has gone too far, too. But the answer isn't legalization. Um, so, the, you know, we often create this false dichotomy between you either have to throw people in prison and arrest them and give them an arrest record, or you have to legalize pod gummy bears and lemon drops and sodas, like you said, Dr. Travis. So I take the side of this is not about marijuana, folks. This is about money. And I'm not saying, Governor Ventura, that's necessarily your motivation. I think you are, frankly, you know, we disagree on this. You're more consistent in a libertarian ideology, I think, about all drugs. Maybe you'd want to talk about your stance on heroin or cocaine. But that is, for me, um, frankly, more consistent than the majority, though, of the supporters are there for the money. This is about making money and this being Big Tobacco 2.0. Why do we have gummy bears? Why do we have lemon drops? Why do we have sodas? We have it to appeal to kids. But Dr. Smith, I do want to ask you wait, about the, in wait, Colorado. The other thing about money is that's why they don't want it legalized, because you could grow it for free, and you wouldn't have to pay the government, and you wouldn't have to pay a dealer or anything. You could grow it like tomatoes in the backyard. So, Governor, let me ask you, did you realize the Nevada initiative actually makes it a crime to grow your own marijuana if you live within 25 miles of a pot store? It was written by the alcohol industry. Yep. It was yep. written by the marijuana I, medical industry. I, no. It's a nightmare. No. So, I you know, understand that. Yeah. Well, right. So legalization is not about the adult's right to use marijuana. I don't care if an adult no. smokes a joint. No. You know, go what for it's it. about but, is yeah. our government <laughs> coddling corporations again. They would right. legalize it in a second if Amheuser-Busch sold it, but it's but the government, the government and the support of corporate power that will allow corporations to do it, but they don't want to allow you to do it as an individual. You're right, it's about the money. Well, but we've, it's the fact who, you can I mean, do who it will free. be running the marijuana industry? Who will, in fact, well, be... Well, all you have to do is look, you can look to states like Colorado and Washington and see what's going on. And, yeah, and they have 300 million more dollars to spend on schools this year. Washington, you know what their first windfall was? They saw a 15% drop in their statewide judicial budget. I can assure you as a governor, that's mammoth. You're talking you. hundreds of millions of dollars in judicial budget savings. It's an industry waiting to happen. How many jobs are created because of tobacco and alcohol? And, and I do want to ask Dr. S uh, Dr. Sabet, I actually lived in Colorado when it was legalized, and I have to say that everyone expected this massive free-for-all and chaos, and really, the, do, the numbers do point to incredible increases in pot sales re tax revenues. Um, I did not see, and Jesse, yeah, you did allude to this, it's not like we were seeing people in the ER dying from pot overdose. So, so if you do it the right way, is there any element where you would say, okay, we're gonna keep it out of the hands of children, recreational use in adults, medicinally, when appropriate. Is there anywhere you can see it done where it was legalized that you would be okay with it? Remove the criminal penalties, but don't let this become about money and profit, which is exactly what happens when you legalize the drug. Don't put adults in prison for it, but do not send a message to our kids that this is going to be acceptable even when they're 21, because it's not good for the 21 year old so it's brain. It's okay to send them a message that tobacco is acceptable, no, alcohol is acceptable. Right. All of those things are acceptable, but marijuana is not. My mom told me that two wrongs don't make a right. So tobacco being legal, alcohol being legal, enormous problems. I'm not saying go back to prohibition because those are used by 70% of society. So marijuana is used by a far fewer number of people than alcohol. So it's not yet in our culture that we don't have a choice on marijuana. And actually in Colorado, they haven't made $300 million. I don't know where those stats come. They, they have not built any schools from this. Um, when, when's the last time alcohol revenue or the lottery built your last school? Excuse well, me, I've held office, you haven't. No. You know, it, it goes into the general fund, and then it's up to your elected officials to determine the $300 million, how they want to spend it. 
Well, I have a PhD from Oxford and you don't. So if you want to talk about what we've done. My biggest issue in this debate is that in fairness, Jesse, I, if you're not willing to listen to Dr. Sabet and Dr. Sabet isn't willing to listen to you, we're never going to come to a consensus because my theory on it is there are a lot of positives where marijuana is concerned in medicine and the fact it's a scheduled one, scheduled one controlled substance just like heroin right now is a big problem. 